AI, the Internet of Things, blockchain. Chances are you're overrun with data and information chaos. What you need is clarity and the answer to one critical question. Is the hype real? It's a question you, as a leader, will need to answer. This is where Gartner Hype Cycle comes in. The ultimate value of the hype cycle, which we've seen proven out again and again, is that it provides an objective map that helps you understand the real risks and opportunities of an innovation, so you can avoid adopting something too early, giving up too soon, adopting too late, or hanging on too long. Here's how we do it. Gartner Hype Cycles chart the path an innovation takes, from when it first enters a market to when a typical business is likely to benefit from it. We look at specific technologies like, say, machine learning, as well as trends, concepts, methodologies, and management disciplines. Chances are, if it's generating buzz in the world and questions for you, we review it. There are currently 95 standard Gartner Hype Cycles. Some of the most popular include the Hype Cycles for Emerging Technologies, Artificial Intelligence, and the Digital Workplace. As for how it works, we start by taking an objective look at the expectations surrounding an innovation. That's the y-axis. Then we relate it to the proven value of that innovation over time. That's the x-axis. Then moving from left to right, we track an innovation as it moves through five predictable phases, with some examples from recent hype cycles. Phase one is the innovation trigger. That's when an event like a technological breakthrough or a product launch gets people talking. Startups emerge, venture capital investment skyrockets, and first-mover organizations start launching experiments. Phase two is the peak of inflated expectations. This is when the excitement brings in more suppliers and people using the product. There's a whole lot of media coverage and hype, but there's still limited proof that the innovation can deliver what you need. Then there's phase three, the trough of disillusionment. This happens when the original excitement wears off and early adopters report predictable performance issues and low returns on investment. Phase four, the slope of enlightenment. This is when early adopters see initial benefits and others start to understand how to adapt the innovation to their organizations. Finally, we reach phase five, the plateau of productivity. At this point, more users are seeing real world benefits. The innovation goes mainstream. It often takes between three and five years for an innovation to move through the five phases. But, of course, the speed varies and some don't stay the course. They disappear from the hype cycle or get replaced by something better. No one can predict the future, but hype cycles get as close as you can to tapping into deep research, surveys and conversations with technology suppliers and Gartner clients. Clients can even select technologies that are most relevant to them. There is hype and there is reality. And with our hype cycles, you have the insight to make smarter decisions.